Hey, Seth David here with another uh, app tip of the day. Still talking about Gmail. This time we're going to look at how to configure your inbox properly. By default, and if you never did anything about it when they rolled out this change a few years ago, you have these tabs across the top, primary, social, promotions, updates, and forums. And I think most of us find that it's kind of annoying to have to toggle between these tabs in order to read our email. I think most of us prefer to have it all kind of in one place. So first I'm going to show you how to get rid of these. But then you have one very long inbox of emails. So I'm also going to show you how to configure that inbox so that you can actually prioritize things based on level of importance. So over here on the settings wheel, we're going to go to configure inbox and we're going to get rid of the tabs. Okay, you have to keep the primary. That's kind of where everything is. When I hit save, notice those tabs go away. But like I said, now I just have one long list of emails and that's not really that um, wieldy, if you know what I mean. So let's go into settings and let's go to inbox and we're going to go to priority inbox. What this does is it breaks your inbox into sections starting with important and unread. Second is the start and four is everything else and then you have a third section that's empty and you can add something to it if you want but I wouldn't even suggest bothering because once I've created this and saved my changes notice what it does important and unread here's an unread email that I've starred watch what happens if I've read it and then I go back and now it's just starred it moves over to here so I have a workflow within my inbox and this is everything else so the first thing I'll do, and you're looking now at uh, my Seth at NerdEnterprises.com email. Uh, the first thing I'll do in the morning is usually go through the important and unread section one email at a time, right? So this is kind of junk, but I obviously uh, have WooCommerce and use it for my site. So I still want those notifications, but I'll just go through and delete these one at a time. And once I've gone through the important and unread, then I go to everything else that's unread and I'll just choose unread. Most of the time I can just delete all of this. Every once in a while, or for that matter, let's say there's things like these, and OpsVision is a client that I get emails for, so I'm gonna uncheck those before I delete everything, and then I'm, so it's a reverse engineered process. I'm just gonna check everything that's unread, and then uncheck the things I wanna keep, and then delete what's left. I'm not gonna do that here because I obviously wanna go through, through it more comprehensively. But using the priority inbox in Gmail will save you a ton of time in terms of having a good workflow. And Google, because it's Google, is very smart at learning over time based on your habits, which emails are important and which ones are not. And if I decide, for example, that emails from HP are not important. All I have to do is uncheck that little guy right there and notice Gmail now tells me conversation has been marked as not important. It will learn this stuff going forward so it will know what I regard as important versus what I don't based on two criteria. One, my habits and two, my specific telling it what's important and what's not. That my friends is your next tip on how to use Gmail and use it in a way that makes it really easy and efficient to organize, categorize, and easily reference the, the messages that are important to you.